This is a fascinating profile from the San Francisco Examiner on Sunday, September 24th, 1978. And this is a London author. Headline, He Waits in the Dark Alleys to be Mugged, No Luck, by William Otterburn Hall. It's unwise to prod Joe Lewis in the chest and say sneeringly, you're not that tough. It's even unwiser still to view his golden boy good looks, blonde mane of hair, and clear blue eyes and imply that he might be a mummy's boy. It's not only unwise, but distinctly dangerous to suggest that he couldn't punch his way out of a paper bag. Lewis, to judge from the record books and from the enthusiastic sales talk of his publicists, could punch and kick his way out of a steel-plated underground nuclear shelter and still come up smiling. Quote, I love walking down dark alleys at night, waiting for someone to step out and mug me, but they never do. Lewis, 34, tall and muscular in black silk satin shirt and black trousers, sat tight-lipped and big-knuckled at his hotel while representatives of various martial arts magazines queued to pay homage. He is the latest athlete-turned-actor to launch himself at our screens, and he was flexing his considerable muscles between shooting scenes on his first starring film, a spy thriller called Jaguar Lives. He had been filming in Spain and snatch a break to have his first sight of London and allow London to have its first sight of him. The publicist on the film sums him up carefully. Quote, this man is an incredible machine and an incredible human being. Lewis wasn't denying either. His sport is none of that mamby-pamby boxing, wrestling, or football stuff. He's the undefeated heavyweight contact karate champion. And in 500 fights on his own say-so, he has never been knocked down, let alone out. Contact karate devotees actually hit their opponents, punching and kicking them into submission with only the bare minimum of padding on their hands and feet. In his nine-year reign at the top, Lewis has left a considerable number of flattened challengers on the mat and an unknown quantity of teeth lying in odd corners of the ring, none of them his own. Quote, it's a rough, tough sport, he said. You get hurt, but we try to take the lethalness out of it. I once kicked a guy in the head, and they took him to the hospital and put a steel plate in him. But he was six foot seven and weighed 280 pounds, so I guess it was okay. Lewis himself was never a 98-pound weakling who grew tired of having sand kicked in his face. He was a farmer's boy from Raleigh, North Carolina, who joined the U.S. Marines and simply decided to become rougher and tougher than anyone else. He became a karate black belt in seven short months and has kept himself at the peak of physical fitness, which has made him ideal for his first film. Jaguar Lives is one of those slam-bang wallop affairs, jam-packed with stunts and action, in which a super-secret agent leaves a trail of ungodly litter behind him. It's directed by Ernest Pentoff, and his leading ladies are led by Barbara Bach. Quote, I want to get away from being known as an ex-athlete, but with a name and reputation like mine, it isn't easy. Lewis allowed, I was a world champion for nine years, and it's kind of hard to shake that off. It started out as a hobby, but I got hooked on it. Bruce Lee was a personal friend, and we used to train together. I fought close to 500 guys and never got knocked down. Got all my own teeth, unquote. Lewis is single following a breakup of his marriage to actress Barbara Lee. He says he has no steady girlfriends, quote, but I'm keeping my eyes open, though right now I'm focusing on my career, unquote. Away from the screen, he avoids bars, but has occasional forays with people failing to observe the courtesies and challenging him to prove himself. Quote, I try not to hurt anyone. Usually they look at my callous knuckles and back down. If it happens and gets physical, I slap them around and put on a few choke holes that don't show any bruises, unquote. Now he's into acting. Quote, but I'm not going to be a James Bond or Matt Helm. Those guys were kind of elegant, sophisticated, and wore suits. I'm an ex-Marine, an ex-farm boy, and I'm out of the jungle. That's why the name Jaguar is perfect. In fact, I'll tell you something. They wrote the damn thing for me. And there are three more Jaguar films in the pipeline. I've got my own idea of my future. I'd like to start out with being kind of a sensitive action actor with the quality of James Dean, the rage of Marlon Brando, 
and the wildness of Errol Flynn, and the newness and uniqueness of Joe Lewis. Somehow, no one seemed inclined to argue.